There's been tremendous advances made in treatment of advanced stage ovarian cancer, but one of the biggest challenges and the hurdle that still remains to be overcome is to find a good screening test to be able to detect the disease early. Our main objective is to increase awareness of the disease and be able to identify women who may be at a higher risk of developing ovarian cancer in their lifetime, often at a young age. And here I'm referring to women who have a high risk because they've inherited some genetic alteration in their DNA from their parents or their grandparents, where the likelihood of them getting ovarian cancer is much higher than an average woman who doesn't have the same risk. So I came to the early detection program um, by way of my father. He was diagnosed with pancreas cancer, stage 4B, um, my father's doctor. He recommended that I get uh, genetic testing and also that um, once I got the results that I was uh, BRCA2 positive and that I had inherited that from my father, that I should actually join the early detection program. Once we identify that a woman in fact has a higher risk of developing this disease, we counsel them about what that risk means. What can they do to actually reduce that risk? And there are several strategies available. It could be more intense screening. It could be participation in some of our clinical trials where we are looking for better screening methods, whether it's a blood-based marker, whether it's looking at genetic changes that can happen in the DNA much earlier than the cancer even forms. And then there's the option of uh, risk reduction surgeries. So there are a group of women that benefit from actually getting their ovaries taken out to help eliminate that risk of developing cancer. During the initial visit, we talk about the different types of results and their potential implications. And so when the result actually comes back, then um, we talk to the patient about what it is, make sure that they have their questions answered, and the overall goal is to make sure that everybody gets the correct amount of screening for what their specific risk is. I feel like I hit the lottery, I really do, because my um, people are looking out for my best interests, and had I not even known about this program, had I not known I had a genetic mutation, I would have lived my life in the dark and I would have proceeded and probably been diagnosed with cancer before I was 50. I have 14 members in my family who have been diagnosed with cancer, many of whom have died. And I want to live a long and healthy life for my children, and I can do that with the help of this program.